What's up, you freaking geniuses? So in this video, I'm gonna teach you about the distance formula, all right? So this is the distance formula right here, and it's really good for when you wanna find the distance between two coordinates or two points, all right? So I'm gonna do a couple examples just using a couple coordinates like this, and then we're gonna do a word problem at the very end, all right? So let me show you how we use this. Now, if you wanna find the distance between two points like this, all right? So we wanna find the distance between, oh, I can't even say that. We wanna find the distance between A and B right here, right? So we wanna find the distance between 13 comma two and seven comma 10. Okay, so the first thing you wanna do here is just label each of your coordinates here. And the way you're gonna do that is like this. So you're gonna put X of one, X of one, Y of one, and here we're gonna have X of two and Y of two, okay? So now that your coordinates, each one is labeled, right? Now we can plug and chug this gigantic drink right here. So the distance between A and B is going to be equal to the square root of all of this junk, all right? So first of all, here in this first set of parentheses, we have x of two minus x of one, right? So here we have x of two minus x of one. So we're gonna do seven minus 13, all right? So seven minus 13, and then this is squared. Okay, and then we're gonna add that to this other set of parentheses. So y of two minus y of one, right? So y of two minus y of one, so 10 minus two, right? 10 minus two, and this is squared also, okay? Now, one mistake I would make all the time with this is I would say, oh, look, the square root and these squares just cancel out, so I can just get rid of all that, and I'm a genius, and then I'm just left with what's in the parentheses, and I'm like, no, no. No, you silly moose, that's not how it works, okay? So remember, order of operations, right? You always do what's inside the parentheses first, okay? So let's take care of that. So simplifying this again. In this first set of parentheses, we have seven minus 13, that's equal to negative six, right? So we're gonna have negative six right there. And remember that's squared, and then we're gonna add that to this other set, 10 minus two, which is equal to eight, all right? So then here we have eight squared. Okay, and my bad, this is too long, that's what she said. Okay, now let's simplify this. Now here we have negative six squared, so that's equal to 36, and we're gonna add that to eight squared, which is 64. All right, so then here, simplifying this, we have the square root of 36 plus 64, which is equal to 100, All right? Now the square root of 100, that's a perfect square, right? So that's nice, so we have a nice clean answer of just 10, okay? So the distance between A and B right here is simply 10. Okay, here's our next example. So we wanna find the distance between these two points right here, between FU, all right? So here we have seven comma negative one and negative two comma four, all right? So again, the first thing you wanna do is just label your coordinates right here, all right? So we can label it as X of one, Y of one, and X of two, Y of two. Okay, and just so you know, it doesn't matter which one you label, as x of one, y of one. So this one, we could have labeled x of one, y of one, and we could have labeled this one as x of two, y of two, all right? You can switch those if you want, it doesn't matter. But I just like to kind of keep it in order, all right? So we want to find the distance between these two points, right? Fu, right? So that's going to be equal to, again, the square root of all this crap right here. So here, again, in our first set of parentheses, we're going to subtract the x's, right? So we have x of two minus x of one. So we're gonna do x of two minus x of one, so negative two minus seven, all right? So negative two minus seven squared. And then we're gonna add that to this set over here. So y of two minus y of one, right? So y of two minus y of one. So four minus negative one, right? So four minus negative one. And this is squared also, okay? So then simplifying this some more, uh, first of all, we have negative two minus seven, so that's equal to negative nine, right? Negative nine squared plus uh, this set right here. So four minus negative one, that's the same thing as four plus one, right? This is basically a big plus sign right there. So four plus one is equal to five, all right? So we have five squared right there, all right? So then let's keep simplifying this. So negative nine squared, that's equal to positive 81. And we're gonna add that to five squared, which is 25. Okay, so then right here, we're gonna have the square root of 81 plus 25, which is equal to, count on your fingers, duh, 106. Okay, now this is obviously not a perfect square, so we're gonna have to plug this into your calculator. 
and you're going to get approximately, okay, just rounding, uh, 10.3, right? So your answer is approximately 10.3, all right? So that's the distance between FU. All right, so here's a word problem. So this one says a funeral home is four miles east and one mile south of your apartment. A nightclub is two miles east and three miles north of your apartment. What is the distance from the funeral home to the nightclub? Classic combination. All right, so for these types of problems, it's normally a good idea to draw a little graph like this, a little coordinate plane, all right? So what we're gonna do here is, well, we don't know where your apartment is, right? So we're just gonna put your apartment in the very middle. But we know how far everything is from your apartment, right? So that's the other reason we're gonna put it right in the middle. All right, so we're gonna say your apartment is at the origin. Okay, now let's find some stuff. So it says a funeral home is four miles east and one mile south of your apartment. Okay, so first of all, let's make sure we get our directions right, okay? So nobody eats soggy waffles, right? Or nobody eats sour watermelon. Or if you got another one, I'd love to hear it. All right, so a funeral home is four miles east and one mile south. Okay, so the funeral home is four miles east, so one, two, three, four, and one mile south. One, okay, so there's the funeral home. Okay, now let's find the nightclub. So a nightclub is two miles east and three miles north of your apartment. Okay, so starting from the apartment, it's two miles east, right? So one, two, three miles north, right? One, two, three, right? So there's the nightclub. Okay, so this is the point two comma three, and this point over here is the point four negative one. Okay, so now we just wanna find the distance between these two points right here. Okay, so this one right here is the nightclub, so we'll just label that with an N. And this one is the funeral home, right? So let's label that with an F. Okay, so we want to find the distance between N and F, right? So the distance between N and F is going to be equal to, well, the distance formula. Okay, but before we can use it, we have to label our points, right? So the nightclub, let's label that as X of 1 y of 1, and the funeral home will label x of 2, y of 2, okay? So now plugging it into the distance formula, remember we're going to, in our first set of parentheses, subtract our x's, right? So we're going to do x of 2 minus x of 1, all right? So we're going to do x of 2 minus x of 1, so we're going to do 4 minus 2, all right? So we're going to do 4 minus 2, and that's squared, and then we're going to add that to our other set of parentheses, right? So y of 2 minus y of 1. All right, so we're gonna do y of two minus y of one. So negative one minus three. Negative one minus three, and this is squared also. Okay, so now if we simplify this, so four minus two, that's equal to two, right? So we have two squared plus uh, negative one minus three, which is equal to negative four, right? So negative four right there, and that's squared also. Okay, so then this is gonna be equal to the square root of two squared, which is four. So we get four plus uh, negative four squared is equal to 16, okay? So then this is gonna be equal to the square root of four plus 16, which is 20, okay? Now, this is not a perfect square, okay? So again, you're gonna have to plug that into your calculator and you'll get approximately 4.5, okay? So whatever units you use for that, miles, inches, whatever you want. Okay, so approximately 4.5. So if you found the video helpful, definitely leave a thumbs up down below. And if you have any other questions or want to see any other examples, just let me know in the comment section below. Also, there's a couple playlists attached that I think you'll find helpful. So definitely check those out and I'll see you there.